Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is September 8th and right now we're taking a look at the mid-level water vapor loop. Take a look at our trough out over the Gulf of Alaska. This system will slowly inch towards the Pacific Northwest, but we've got some ridging out in front of it. It's going to allow us to warm up quite nicely through this weekend before this trough tries to make its way towards western BC and we'll take a look what kind of precip it's going to bring to western Washington and western Oregon. We're also going to take a look at some fantasy forecast towards the end of this video coming up, so stay tuned for that. If you want to save 10% off on a nice, affordable home weather station, click on that link down below. I highly recommend this weather station. Taking a look at the atmospheric river, and I'm just going to show you guys this so you can remember this later in the season. This next system in here just barely qualifies, if you can even call it an atmospheric river, impacting northern portions of Vancouver Island and some of western BC, just barely into the category status there. But just kind of familiarizing you guys with this chart here, you can see they go from basically weak, moderate, strong, to extreme, and exceptional based on duration and the amount of vapor transfer transport coming over your area. Here we're looking at the air quality index and check it out. Not too bad across the region really, unless you're around some of this forest fire smoke activity across Southwest Oregon and BC doing relatively good. I mean, it's been a record setting year as far as amount of acreage burned across British Columbia, but for the most part, not doing too bad across a lot of the province right now. SeaTac yesterday, 69 degrees, pretty nice day out there. Five degrees below average, no precipitation, and it's going to be tough to ring a couple hundredths of an inch out of this next system here. So we might be going to a little bit of a drought here over the next several days, but we'll watch that here in the forecast coming up. This is Spokane, nice weather coming up this weekend and probably on in through Monday before a bit of a cool down as we go through the week coming up. Now taking a look at the convective outlook, mainly off across Montana, there's a wind and hail threat, mainly east of Butte, Montana, today and tomorrow. Not talking about thunderstorm activity across much of Washington, Oregon, maybe extreme eastern Idaho. This is total precipitation on the NAM 3KM, so you can see that activity off to the east, thunderstorm activity. And if we scroll out far enough here towards Sunday morning, you can see that next system arriving, but it really starts to weaken as it gets towards the coastline here. And that's as far out as the NAM 3KM go. We'll look at the GFS next. But yeah, it's not looking too too hot right now for Seattle or for Western Oregon. Maybe some of the coastline, Vancouver Island, and some of the higher terrain of BC are going to be doing better with the precip out of the system. And this is looking at the GFS. This is hot off the press of the 12Z run. Total precipitation in inches. Thunderstorm activity off to the east. There goes our system taking its sweet time and weakening as it moves towards Washington. You can see the northwest Washington coast probably a better chance versus the Seattle Metro or Portland Metro, of course. And as we scroll out a little bit further, maybe ring a little bit out across some of the Cascades here as well, but not a big precipitation maker here incoming. But it will start to dampen the temperatures from our warm weekend coming up. This is looking at the European yesterday afternoon's run. So there goes our ridge building for this weekend. Trough swings through. We keep things seasonable as we go through next week. Maybe a little bit of a bump of a ridge here trying to show up. But then another trough the European has showing dropping down across Pacific Northwest towards the end of next week. And then another ridge building here as we start to go through the weekend, though. And look at that monster ridge building on the European. It's out there in fantasy land. That's 10 plus days right now. So we're going to take that with a grain of salt. We're going to just try to see if we get some model consolidation or agreement on that. And then as we go towards the end of September, maybe we'll start to get some troughing here on the west coast no promises yet gfs hot off the presses 12z here we go ridge builds for the weekend system swings through seasonable temperatures next week and the gfs wants to warm things up a little bit here a bit of a ridge towards the end of next week the ridge kind of hangs on here builds up towards alberta troughing out over the pacific ocean here so you can kind of see we're differing uh in just how much of a ridge to the extent of forecast we have no agreement in the 10 plus day period between the european and the gfs as of right now other than maybe this ridge being the same one just uh, co different location of it trough digs down across the pacific northwest on this gfs so you can kind of see the discrepancy in the models through the extended this is Seattle Metro. Check it out. 83 and 81 on the GFS coming for Saturday and Sunday. Get out there and enjoy that. You're going to remember those days fondly as we get in towards the fall and winter months. And it might not even be the last warm weekend here either. If that ridge builds what the GFS is showing, we could be up towards 80 degrees here again the following weekend. Spokane, you can see that trough kind of move through Tuesday and Wednesday and cool things down a bit. Seattle Tacoma, we've definitely been downtrending here on the precipitation amounts for this next system rolling in here. It's going to be a chore to even ring out a hundredth of an inch, I think, with this uh, storm coming in, or if you can even call it a storm. Bowerman Airport, Hoquiam, a little bit better chances out towards the coastal areas, and the further north you go towards Quilly, better chances for precip there. But if you really want the rainfall, take an Alaska Airlines flight out there to Juneau International Airport and check it out. It's the rainy season out there. The storm track, usually this time of year, starts taking aim at some of the southern Alaska. 
Alaska and Southeast Alaska out there. And you can clearly see no exception as we go through mid-September here. Sandspit, Haida Gwaii up there. We're just kind of cherry picking locations here to try to show some storm activity, but you can see the precipitation up there and maybe some blustery conditions as that system rolls through here as we go through the end of the weekend. This is Sandspit up there in Haida Gwaii, there's Vancouver Island in the Seattle Metro if you're wondering where that location was. Here we're looking at the National Blend of Models. Check it out as we go through tomorrow and Sunday. Nice warm conditions coming here for the Pacific Northwest. I get mid-80s probably coming tomorrow for some of the Willamette Valley. And we start to cool down a bit. You'll see that Monday and Tuesday as we drop things down towards more seasonable conditions. This is Seattle Tacoma Fantasy Windstorm Hunt. There is not much out there. A couple gusts of 30 miles per hour way out there, but nothing even to get excited about just yet. Now, this is looking at uh, the European. This runs daily, but the last night's has not come in yet. But I just thought I'd show you something here. So if we scroll through, we're going day at a time. And you can see we start to get some more storm activity across the Gulf of Alaska here as we go through the fall months. And as we scroll out far enough, you can see some storms start to show up here towards the end of September. Pretty typical fall stuff. So I'm just kind of showing you there's likely a transition coming here as we go through September into October. And if we go far enough into October, you can see some bigger storms coming through BC here. And if you go all the way out towards the end of the run, October 22nd, kind of a more robust system there. But this is just purely fantasy. I'm just kind of giving you guys the idea that there's likely going to be more storm systems as we move into October here for the Pacific Northwest. 6 to 10 day, above average signal. 8 to 14 day, all the way through September 21st, above average. 6 to 10 day precipitation. 8 to 14 day below average signal. Some of that ridging here could continue to keep us warmer and drier than normal. So anyway, yeah, I hope you guys are liking these videos. I will do this again tomorrow as every single day. We'll watch these temperatures. We'll watch to see if we can get some consolidation through the extended forecast on the European and the GFS. Um, some of the models showing some ridging here just at different times. So we'll watch that as we go and we'll see if we have any systems, see if the Europeans onto that onto something here with bringing that trough down across the area next weekend or not. But anyway, hope you guys are having a good day and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.